yeah, obviously really happy with the, with the three points, first and foremost. The first team to come to New Zealand, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. It's a long travel, I've actually got a really young team. So a lot of these boys have never been overseas for, for a football game. So it was a first for, for many things, but I thought it was a professional performance. We had to weather an early storm, obviously, uh, you know, a lot of emotion. First game back, very good crowd. I thought the crowd were, were, were superb today, the atmosphere, so credit to all the fans. And, and I thought Wellington put on a real good performance, probably uh, first 20 minutes. And, and we knew if we weathered that storm, we'd catch them, you know, maybe catch them on the counter-attack. And then, yeah, look, they had to come out of second half and, and I thought we were clinical, probably could have been more clinical. Um, but, you know, we had the same uh, sort of game against Sydney the other week where it was a big, uh, big round. We had, a, obviously, uh, it was a pink round, it was called. We had a lot of... A lot of emotion at the game, and and yeah, we uh, you know, we came away with with a defeat. So I feel a little bit for them them boys today, because you know in front of your family and friends and a big crowd, you want to get re a result. But I thought it's a very professional performance from us today. Yeah, look, they made a really good start. We knew that, uh, but to be honest, it was our silly mistakes that 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 cost us. Um, you know, they wait for you to make a mistake, and we made some real sloppy mistakes, and 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 they try and count you quickly, which is what they're good at. Um, but I said at half time, stop making silly mistakes, um, start start getting on the ball. Let's control the game now. You know, you, everybody's um, you know everybody's used to the atmosphere a little bit now because we've got a very very young team. But to be fair, to Phoenix, they've got a young team as well. So I think we're probably two of the youngest teams in the competition. Um, obviously, uh, to, to to have that, I think it's great for the competition and. As coaches, you want to be giving young players games and developing them. And I thought today, um, that was a yeah, it, it was a good game, and I thought we were clinical when we needed to be. A little ball is a uh, is a top player, top pro, and I know he had a sort of today. He came over with a boot on. We were obviously on the same plane. Um, I knew he'd play the game, but that that speaks a lot for his character. Um, you know, he obviously played in England as well. You know, he's going to have a big heart, but look. I've heard it's a really bad tackle. Um, live, it looked like a bad tackle. And if anyone saw the decision we got last week with Lewis Miller, um, yeah, look, I don't want any don't want any players sent off, so I'm not going to say it was a send off. But obviously, that's what VAR is there for, and you expect them to make the right calls. Given the, given the travel you've done and, and the big crowd, like that big crowd, I know they're playing in front of isolation. Just how big a result? Yeah, look, we uh, we got to the FFA Cup final. You know, big crowd in Melbourne. That was the first time some some of the boys have been out of New South Wales, so they know what it's like playing in front of a hostile crowd. That was a final. I think there's 25, vict 5,000 victory fans and a thousand Mariners fans. So you know, we, it was an experience that I knew the boys would grow from. Um, but yeah, like you know, today they, these are the games you want to play, and these are the atmospheres. And, and like I said, fair play to the Phoenix fans. They made a real good atmosphere today, and they kept going right till the end, supporting the team and. You know, hopefully next year, once the A League gets back to normal, we can get the crowds back in, and 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 the, you know the product on the field has been very good this season. I think it's been a lot better than last season. There's been a lot of investment from the clubs. I think three times the investment on on player budgets than the, than there was last season, and there's some quality players in the league. So hopefully get the fans back in because it does really make a difference. And and, and you know for the boys, I think today was a, a very good game. How Oh, look, we had a target the same as everyone else at the start of the year, and that was to get to the FFA Cup final, which we did, and, and get in the top six. Um, but probably like Phoenix, everybody wrote us off, and, and look, we keep going. And at the end of the day, it's nearly every team can get in the top six, and I think it's exciting times for the league. But look, it's one game today. We've got another four or five games left. I've, I've lost count. Um, and look, every game's important. Every point's important. That's why today it was really important that we got three points. Is there anything particularly about the way you set up Uh, not really. Look, I think you know. I think they, uh, uh, you know, when we got to the halfway line today, they dropped into a back five. I think they did that to try and. Uh, well, it's actually funny. You know, when the Mariners play a, a forward ball, it's a direct ball. When Victory play, it, it's an excellent forward pass. Or when Newcastle Jets play, it, it's uh, it, it, it's wonder ball. So look, <laughs> at times you have to, uh, you know, I, I, I tend to look at some of the comments and. You know, we know what we're good at. We're, we're a good team. We're, we're solid. We're aggressive on the ball, and, and we like to play attacking football. So, if a forward pass and, and a forward run, and someone receiving a, a forward pass is a direct ball, then yeah, I'm happy to take direct uh, that being a direct ball. But I thought Wellington tried to counter that early on, dropping into a back five, and we had to be a little bit more patient. But I thought you know, when the game stretched the second half and they had to try come at us, 
I thought we picked him off and, and probably just missed the final pass a couple of times. Um, and, and yeah, like I said, it's uh, I think Beer has had a, a one good save in the first half, which was that's why he's you know, he's been a standout for us this year. Makes one good save, and then we go up the other end and score on the counter attack. So. You know, went and have done that to a few times this season, a few teams this season, sorry. Um, so it was nice for us to, to do it today. But I thought after that, really proud of the boys' effort and the way we controlled the game second half. I'm, you know, I thought was very, very good.